So I kind of feel like it goes without saying, every person is gonna learn how to do a lot of different things during their life. My drawings are not that good, but you'll get the picture. When I was young, I learned how to read and how to write, and elementary school helped me learn how to make friends. I've also learned how to work as a team, especially during sports growing up. I was an active kid, and I'm still very, very active to this day. I've learned how to skateboard, I've learned to play baseball, basketball, football, and was on my varsity wrestling team in high school. I also learned how to do other skilled sports like Olympic weightlifting and competed in the junior national championships when I was 17. But those sports and that competitiveness starts to dwindle after college if you're not active. So in an effort to bring back that competitive nature I was born with and seeing that I have the benefit of living in California, today I'm going to attempt to surf for the very first time. It's Friday. I'm about to meet up with some friends and we are going to head to the beach. I live like an hour away from the coast and so I'm gonna meet him halfway and then I think we're just gonna carpool together. It's gonna be my friend Ethan and my friend Kyle. I'm thankful they're coming with me because I was way too nervous to just try to do this alone. Yeah, I woke up a little anxious about it. Like I'm excited, I'm excited to try something new but at the same time, like the ocean's kind of terrifying. I'm not gonna ruminate on what could go wrong. For now, I'm just gonna eat because I'm starving. I wanna eat something that's gonna give me some energy. So probably like some oatmeal or something. All right, food is eaten. I'm full. I'm energized. I'm ready to go. I'm now going to drive over to Ethan's house. We're going to load up the car with our, almost said snowboards with our surfboards and wetsuits and determined attitudes. And we're gonna go surf some waves today. Hopefully. It is already freezing outside. I don't know how in the world I'm gonna convince myself to get into freezing cold water. Like, yeah, I'll have a wetsuit, but I've also never even put on a wetsuit. I don't know what that's going to do for me. I hear it does a lot, but how much can a piece of rubber do against your skin? Yeah, I'm, I'm truly just not built for the cold. Natural selection, I think, just skipped over me because I should be a goner at this point. I can barely keep my temperature regulated during the summer. I think, like, the whole idea of surfing seems, like, really sick. Like, the whole culture that's around it, everyone looks really cool. Everyone's like super ripped and has like bleached hair. <laughs> no, but what I'm trying to say is I feel like, especially with my new haircut, I look like the part, but I'm straight up just gonna be a poser when I show up. I've gone through different phases of like hyper obsessing over like niche activities. In, I wanna say middle school, I thought rock climbing was like it. Like I wanted to be rock climber i don't know we had a local rock climbing gym that i would go to every now and then and i feel like there was maybe one time the instructor was like hey man you're like pretty good you're pretty fast and i was like that's it i'm going to the olympics and i was obsessed with it for like a year and then that was it and i was done same thing with like skateboarding when i was a kid i loved skateboarding went to the skate park all the time thought i was gonna be like ryan sheckler or something and then a storm came along and like collapsed in the roof and then we didn't have a skate park anymore and so that dream kind of died unwillingly but yeah maybe surfing will be the new thing i also live a literal hour away from the ocean i don't know either way i'm nervous i'm excited we are going to pretend like we know what we're doing today and we're gonna fit in and we're gonna look sick and our hair is gonna look cool with all the salt water in it and then we're gonna get compliments on it okay okay bye Good morning. <laughs> Ready to surf? Go surfing, dog. Where are we gonna go to surf? We should figure that out. Zoom is not bad. Port of Fair, it's not bad. Whatever's just not gonna kill me for my first time. Zuma Beach. Going to Zuma. I'm going to Malibu. So, good morning, everyone, and welcome to Treasure Trail. I'm pretty tired. It's like 8:30 in the morning. It's a Friday. It's not bad. We got a couple wetsuits. Here we go. We're good. Okay, so we have the surfboards. We have the wetsuits. And then the third and final thing you can't forget is your leash. Because you know you're going to fly. And especially if it's Trevor's first time, it's, it's flying. It's flying at least, at least five times. <laughs> Ready to roll. 
roll. Ready to roll. Let's see. Ready to roll. roll. And roll. Well, we just learned some crucial information about the waves right now. They're like one to two feet, which is awesome for me, but kind of sucks for everybody else. What did it make turn, do? Turn lemons into lemonade, man. Do you like the little strap situation? Did it take us 30 minutes to figure it out? Yeah. Dude. But are the surfboards secured? It's also, yes. Locked and loaded. Dude, whenever I think about surfing, I think of that one video of that surfer who's like, smack the lip, whoop He's oh, dropping, yeah. say, Bwah. Smack the lip, whoop Jog down, say, Bwah. <laughs> That's all I think about when I think about surfing. So I'm just gonna channel that. Do you, uh, How many times have you guys surfed? Like 20, I would say. Oh, that's pretty good. For a guy from the Midwest, yeah, that's 20, pretty good. 20, 30? So tell me what I should expect for my first time doing this. What are like the things I need to know? My first time, I freaked out when I got held under the water because it feels like an eternity. But oh, for sure. The, oh, the so less scary. you freak out, just like, it's like, it's really not that long you're under the water. Expect to get thrown under just, a couple times. You say let it let it take you. Anything else? You're gonna get sandy. Fair. We are on a beach. I mean, and the Pacific Ocean. Yeah. Specific. Specific. Yeah. The specific, Pacific. The specific ocean is really cold, notoriously. So I'm yeah. ready to be gobsmacked. <laughs> much farther than Malibu. We're literally at the county line. Yeah, pretty much, yeah, Ventura. I'll be real, guys. The waves are pretty pitiful today. I mean, these are like one, one and a half foot waves. We'll make do. We're gonna make it happen. It'll be fun. Almost broke my ankle. How much clothes do you wear under it? Usually go nothing under. Nothing? I, I mean, it's I what, usually wear boxes underneath. Oh, yeah. I always, I always go nothing under. Wow, but Kyle. that's that's just so you boys know. Where do you even begin to put this on? You go feet first. Feet in. Feet in. There's the opening. Yeah. Okay, work. I've never worn something so tight on my body. So, how do you get that the singlet? Oh, dude, we got there. My dad gave me the worst jeans for the sun ever. Oh. Dad, if you're watching, thanks a lot. You ready to go? Let's go. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna go surf now, so see ya. It's brutal, it's brutal out here. It does feel good, I'll say that. So guys, we just sit and we wait. That's that's the majority of this is what I've learned so far. Well, I mean, it's also like historically the worst day ever of surfing ever. We'll catch at least one. That'll be the goal, just to get at least one wave. And once the goal was set, that's what I went for. So very first wave, I started paddling, everything going good, and then I missed it. More importantly, my GoPro fell to the bottom of the ocean floor. And then by some miracle, five minutes later, Ethan felt something hit his foot, and sure enough. Oh my God. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> I won't let you go. I will not let you go. After that, I watched Ethan and Kyle make a few attempts. Some successful and some not. But regardless, we were having a great time. Most of my experience looked a little bit like this. And most of my attempts looked like this. We waved at some people doing whatever the heck this is. And we had some great conversations on our board. But I was still set on my one goal. Just one, that's the goal. Just one wave. So the next set of waves came in, I took the very first wave and paddled as hard as I could with my GoPro in my hand and... I stayed on for about 0.6 seconds. Uh, <laughs> one wave! Guys, that wasn't the hardest thing I've ever done. And we were, we were doing like, babe, I can't even speak, I'm so cold. Baby waves. Like half a foot waves. I caught one. We all caught one. That was the goal. This is the hardest part, is taking this freaking suit off. Close your eyes. Oh, it's off. It's off. Okay, I'm gonna turn this off till we're like dressed. We should start it by all clicking the seatbelts at the same time. Three, two. That was, that was stupid. Attempted. Well, we kind of skipped some of that, but we just ate some breakfast burritos, drank some blue bottle coffee, 
Yeah, we're at the Malibu uh, Malibu Country Mart. Country Mart. So I think we have to end this by asking Trevor. Trevor, surfing. Scale one to ten. One to ten. Today's experience was like a seven out of ten. Okay. Fair enough. But surfing as a whole, ten out of ten. 10 Would out you of go 10? again? Hundred percent. All right. No, it was so fun. I had a great day. This is something I definitely want to do more and with other people. It's kind of the perfect way to start off the day. Like I feel so oh, yeah. energized, ready to rock. Ready like, to go. Let's go. Ethan, thank you for <laughs> Thank you, Trevor. Along, I love Kyle. you, bro. Thanks for coming along. Thank you, bro. Oh my gosh. Okay, they don't tell you that surfing uses every single muscle that's in your body. I know I'm gonna be so sore tomorrow. Literally right after we finished, I went back to Ethan's house and took like an hour long nap. I feel so oh, yeah. energized. So much fun today. That was, that was so, so great. Yeah, I learned a lot today. And I think that was like the principle of this whole thing was just learning something new, trying something new. Usually if there's a high risk, there's a high reward. The risk was, drowning i guess anyway getting up early and taking the time and driving an hour to go do it it was so so worth it it was so much fun and i definitely think it's something i'm gonna keep in my routine now and like try to make days where i go do that yeah surfing sick shout out to ethan and kyle for coming with me so i didn't have to do that alone or else i would probably be on the ocean floor right now. Trevor, relax. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Here's to learning and trying new things in 2022. I encourage you to go learn something new, do something you haven't done before, because all you can do is learn from it. Even if it goes horribly wrong, uh, there's still a learning experience that came from it. So I encourage you to go do that. Go ahead and leave a like below on the video and subscribe if you haven't already. And if you want to come along with me this year, and I'm very appreciative of everyone who's subscribed so far. I think that's it. Yeah, I guess I'll see you guys next week. Stay safe, stay humble, uh, go Braves. I don't know, bye.